boys and girls. In connection to Parshas Chayisara, we are going to create a clay candlestick. Here are the supplies which we will need. Some glittery gold paint, or whichever color you choose, paintbrush, a tea light, a ball of clay, and lastly, a small dowel. Let's get started. Roll the clay into a ball. If it feels very thick and difficult to work with, you may add a little bit of water. Alternatively, just keep working with it and the more you do so, the heat of your hands will begin to soften it. Once we have a nice round ball, we will push the tea light into the ball to create a well, making sure none of the clay goes into the candle. While we're doing this, let's talk about the connection between Parsha Chayisara and this candlestick project. In the Parsha, we learn that Yitzchak married Rivka. When she entered Sarah Menu's tent, she merited to have the same three miracles that Sarah had. One, the Shechina Hashem's presence rested on her tent. Two, there was a special bracha on her chala and it stayed fresh. And three, her Shabbos candle stayed lit from one era of Shabbos until the next. Now back to the project. Push the clay in around the tea light with your fingers. Then we will make small holes in the candlestick with the dowel. These holes are for decoration purposes, so you can make as many or as few holes as you'd like. Let's zoom in to Sarah and Rifka Imenu and their Shabbos candles. Imagine coming into a very dark room. The darkness is so great that you can't see anything. You're scared you might bump into something, so you light a candle. The candle casts a soft glow, allowing you to see that there is a table and chairs around it, but you can't see much else. So you take out a whole bag of candles and place each of them somewhere else in the room. By the time you are done lighting them all, the whole room is lit up. Each candle you lit added more light to the room. Shabbos candles, of course, bring physical light. But aside from this, since they are a mitzvah, they also bring spiritual light and blessing. Did you know that every time you light Shabbos candles, you are bringing more of this special light into your home and into the world? Now we will paint the candlesticks with the gold glittery paint, or with whichever paint color you've chosen to use. Meanwhile, think about it. If this mitzvah has so much power, wouldn't it be special to share it with someone who doesn't yet know about it? Can you think of someone who you can invite to do this mitzvah too? If it's not someone you know personally, maybe it'll be someone you meet as you're going about your day or walking down the street. You can even keep a set of Shabbos candles on hand just in case. You never know when they may come in handy. Once we are done painting the candlestick, we will let it dry until it has completely hardened. Then voila, it's ready to be used. We are now one step closer to lighting up the world. Thank you for joining and we can't wait to have you next week at our Parsha studio.